Hello, it's Chris from My Stamp Lady and welcome to my videos. If it's the first time you're here, welcome. And if you're coming back, welcome back. I'm so excited to show you this Hoppy Together set and the cards and the products that they have designed to go together. So this is the So Hoppy Together stamp set and this stamp set can be found in the Celebration catalog. It is available, it's one of the free sets available with a $50 purchase. And you can find that right here on page 13. And what Stampin' Up! has done this year is they've introduced some really fun new products to go with their Celebration products called Celebration Coordination. And I'm using two of those products. I'm going to use this stamp set called More Than Words and the Hop Around Framelit Dies. So you can see those products here. Here are those framelit dies. And it is so fun. I have to be honest with you, I wasn't going to get the frogs this year until they came out with the dies. And now I can just see how much more I will use those when there's a die to cut out the parts. So I'm gonna set that aside because I'm going to use that. And then this is the more than words and I will be using the birthday wishes. So my goal today is to show you how to use these products together and the way to pull some other products from our catalogs out. So this is a pack of paper called Tropical Escape. It's a six by six package of paper. This package of paper coordinates with Tropical Sheet, but I'm gonna show you how it works really well with this um, card. So this is a small piece of that paper that I've cut down for a layer. And then this has the Granny Apple Green and the Shaded Spruce that I'm going to use for this project, for this part. So I'm going to start out by stamping with my Memento ink, and I'm using Memento ink because the Memento works really well with the Stampin' Blends, our alcohol markers, and I'm going to use the alcohol markers to color in my images. I like using the alcohol markers because you get a nice, nice, strong color. The alcohol markers are also nice because you can do blending or you don't have to do blending. And I'm going to do a little bit of both this time. So from that Coordinations frog set, I'm going to use the frog die set here to cut this one out. And then I will also be cutting out the butterfly. Just to save time and so I can do it in one pass, I'm going to grab my other uh, papers here. There I need the lily pad. And then I need two of the flowers. So one thing that's nice is this die set has two flower dies, so I can get two of them in one pass. Okay, so I'm just gonna line this stuff up, get my acrylic pad and run it through the Big Shop. Okay, so I've cut out those pieces and I can just put the lily pad and the flowers off to the side because I need to do a really quick bit of coloring. Now with the butterfly, I am not going to um, do any blending. So I'm just using a little bit of gray to color in the body here. I don't have a flirty flamingo marker and I'm actually not even sure if they make one right now, but I'm combining a couple of colors to get it to be a little closer to flirty flamingo. And that's a nice thing that you can do with the marker. So I've taken the light lovely lipstick and this is the dark, dark pink pirouette and we will just color those together. And you'll see that it kind of changes that color. So my lovely lipstick isn't quite as bright. There we go. Okay, so now with my dark shaded spruce, I'm going to color the spots here on the frog and the stomach. And I'm not doing any shading with this at all. It is just coloring in. Now I have my light and dark granny apple green, and I am going to do just a slight amount of shading here, not a lot. So this is my dark granny apple green, a color along my edges here, and I'm colored in, and then I'm going to take my light and go over that and blend some of that color out to get a couple of tones here that in there, get that blended. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the same with the bottom part of this frog and then I'll be back. So I've colored those pieces and I can set those aside. Now I'm going to use the Flirty Flamingo and I'm going to first of all do the wishes for lining up. I cut this out with this particular 
rectangle stitched die. I love these dies. I've been using them a lot. And I didn't want to run that through the Big Shot. It's just a regular um, cut through the Big Shot. And so I just did that ahead of time. So now I'm going to ink up my wishes. And this is from that... Um, this is from that set, More Than Words, and we'll put this down here with Flirty Flamingo. I did pull in this Stamp and Pierce pad because it does help me get a better image with the photopolymer sets, which is what the More Than Words stamp set is. It's a photopolymer stamp set. This gives it a little bit of cushion and allows me to stamp, get a nicer image. I'm just lining that birth date right on top of that wishes, so it even overlaps a little bit. And there's my sentiment. Now I can remove that stamp and pierce pad. I don't need it for the rest. I'm going to start with my paper. This is that tropical paper. And we'll put this down just over here to the left. This is actually a, a very common layout that I use a lot. It's a nice little layout for putting things together. Actually, going to use some mini glue dots here. I like um, using these on some of these smaller images. It makes it a little bit easier to put things together. So let's put down that one flower. I'm just kind of pulling it up a little bit here, give it a little bit of dimension. And then that frog is just going to go over. So let's put that frog. Use a couple of mini glue dots here. He's so cute in Granny Apple Green. I really like that. And we'll put this guy down here. And then we've got one more flower to put on the other side of him. There we go. And now I've got my frog all together and he's sitting ready to send a greeting. This is the length of the Coastal Cabana Granny Apple Green Reversible Ribbon. And I'm just going to take and tie a knot and I'm putting the granny apple green side out because that's what coordinates with my colors. If you are new to Stampin' Up, one of the amazing features is that the colors all coordinate. So you've got the same color in ink and paper and accessories. It's really nice to be able to have products that work together so well. Okay, so I can just, just tie a knot there. Let's trim this down. I have this all trimmed and ready to go, but I'm going to take and do a little cheat here. I want to keep that ribbon in place and I want it to lay nice and flat. So I am just going to take a mini glue dot. These are my lovely little, little secrets that I use to keep things in place sometimes. Okay, so there we go. We have that. Let's place this down on my shaded spruce card front. And this is a card base. It's a half a sheet of eight and a half by 11. So it's five and a half by eight and a half and scored at four and a quarter. That's a very typical, you know, let's just see really quick. It's a very typical card maker size. And I'm just gluing this down onto the front. And because I'm using liquid glue, I'm going to give it a second to hold it and let it set up a bit. This glue does dry very quickly though. So it didn't take more than a set, um, just a minute for it to set up. Okay, so now I'm gonna do a little bit of placement before I figure out exactly where I want these to go. I'm gonna use some dimensionals here to pop my frog up. And I want to use one of the edge ones here on this far side. I don't want my, if I can avoid, I don't, I want as little of my dimensional on that ribbon because it'll bulk it up just a little bit more. So I've kind of used just a small little piece there. Now let's put some glue down on the back of my sentiment piece here, that stitched rectangle. And we'll put that right down in there. There we go. And I'm gonna remove the tops of my dimensionals, the covers. And let's place that down. So I've decided to add just a little bit more dimension to my flowers by pulling those edges up a little bit. Okay, down our, we're gonna bring this up onto the other side. I've picked out some of the iridescent sequins from this metallic pack, uh, sequin packet. I'm going to use my take a pick tool to pick those up or take your pick tool, I guess it is, to pick that up. Let's add, I'm going to put, use the fine tip glue 
just to add my sequins across the front here, and this will help to draw your eye across the front of the card. So I just made little puddles of fine tip glue. I'm using my larger sequins down here on the lily pad. And then I have the medium sized sequins up here around the upper right corner. So all I have to do is just put those down and it's more pleasing to the eye. I tried to pick some odd numbers. It's moving a little over than I want, so we'll move that over. There we go. There we go. And there we have a fun frog sending off a birthday wish. If you have any questions about how I did the So Happy Together and the Coordinations products, please contact me, Chris, at MyStampLady.com. If you'd like to get another video like this from me, be sure to subscribe, and you can even click the bell to get the notifications. Thanks so much for watching.